Hey guys, I have a short devotional for you today. We're going to be reading out of Acts chapter 2. And this last weekend was Easter, and we learned about Jesus um, raising from the dead on the third day. And if you know in the story, after that happens, Jesus stays on earth for a while, and he reveals himself to certain people, and he gathers his followers, and he asks them to go spread the news about what he has done for them. And he goes up to heaven, and these apostles all gather together, and there's a day where the Holy Spirit comes upon them on the day of Pentecost. And then we get to Peter preaching in front of a big group of people about the good news of what Jesus had done for them. And on that day, 3,000 people came to believe in Jesus. And I want to read what they all did right after that. So we're in Acts chapter 2, verse 42. It says, All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, and to fellowship, and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. So that's what all of these believers do. After they hear the good news and they follow Christ, they all gather together in fellowship. And for all of us, we're in this moment where we more than ever need to gather together in fellowship. Even though we can't be in the same room, we can still be together. Maybe it's through online or through different resources. I remember when I was in junior high, one of the highlights of my experience was my small group at church. I loved going to youth group and joining in a small group, whether it was in sixth, seventh, or eighth grade. And I had some awesome leaders who I still know to this day, who I'm still friends with. And I love small group because it was a time where you can just be honest with your friends and you could ask open questions about the Bible you might not know. And it's just a really cool time to be authentic and to not feel the pressure and just hang out with some guys and girls that you trust. So I'm excited to announce that we're going to be doing fourth and fifth grade small groups on Sundays over Zoom. And I'm going to give more information about that tomorrow. You can look forward to that. But for the rest of you, I want you to pursue ways that you can still stay in fellowship, which means staying in community with fellow believers, whether that's through using Facebook or using our new Life Together site where we have pages you can post on, or if it's a phone call or a text or an email, or maybe you're playing video games online with each other, or you're in a book club. I don't know. There's lots of ways to stay connected, but I want to encourage you, stay connected with your friends and fellow believers in Christ. Now more than ever, it's important to follow the example of the early church and the early believers in Jesus. So that's my encouragement for you guys. I hope you um, choose to do that. And fourth and fifth graders, please let me know if you're interested in our Zoom small groups. Those will be starting this Sunday. Thanks.